We start with the latest on Typhoon Kanun here in Korea that has been making landfall. My colleague Sung Yujin is standing by with a live update. Yujin, where are you joining us from? Well, Sonny, I'm currently on the east coast in Samchok City in Gangwon-do province. Right, Yujin, I hear the heavy rain has been pounding that particular region. You're absolutely right, Sunny. So heavy rain has been pouring as well as strong winds um, since early morning here in Samchok City. And starting yesterday to today noon, more than 310 millimeters of heavy downpours have been battering the city alone. But as you can see, we're bracing for even more as uh, rains of between 30 and 60 millimeters per hour is currently pounding this area as well. So the nation's weather agency forecasts that up to 600, a whopping 600 millimeters of rain could pound this uh, Samchuk City as well as the eastern parts of the Gangwon-do province by Friday, which is the heaviest rain record currently in the country. Now, with all this relentless rain, I can say that there's really no point in wearing a raincoat or carrying an umbrella. Uh, trees and street lights here are wobbling because of heavy rain. Most stores nearby have closed. The Samchuk City government has also issued a landslide warning, a citywide one, as of 1 p.m. today. Now, this is all because after Typhoon Kanun made its expected the landfall in the country this morning. So according to the Korea Meteorological Administration, Typhoon Kanun made landfall near the city of Goje, Gyeongsangnam-do province at around 9.20 a.m. today. And after reaching the Korean peninsula, it is currently moving slowly upwards and will cut its way through the country. So the entire nation is expected to be under the typhoon's influence by tonight. And not only heavy rain, but gusts are also in the forecast up to 35 meters per second, which is strong enough to bring down trees as well as derail trains. Right, derailing trains, which is why, of course, authorities here have been calling on members of the public to refrain from venturing outdoors if possible. Meanwhile, Eugene, do tell us a bit about the precautions in place. Yes, well, typhoon alerts have been issued nationwide as of today morning, and I can say that the entire nation is on high alert as we're expecting more heavy rain as well as stronger winds after the typhoon has made its landfall, and especially because last year the devastating typhoon Hinnemnor took away the lives of 11 people. So thankfully, latest data from the Interior Ministry as of 11 a.m. today shows that no casualties from Typhoon Kanun have been reported yet. But for the sake of safety, uh, more than 10,600 people have evacuated for their homes um, for safety, as well as more than 350 flights nationwide being canceled today. But it's not just the skies that are being affected. Uh, roads, sea routes, as well as hiking trails have been closed off starting yesterday. And with safety as the utmost priority, Kindergartens and schools in affected areas are also taking precautionary measures, such as having closed down for the day, having shortened school hours, and switching to online classes. And the nation's Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters during its meeting this morning ordered heads of local disaster headquarters to stand by around the clock until the typhoon passes a country, and it also stressed that those who are living in flood or landslide-prone areas should be able to evacuate immediately in case of emergency. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Sunny. All right, Eugene, thank you for the latest, and do keep us posted throughout the day.